Day 45, Good Friday. A reading from the Gospel of John, 19, 31 through 37. Now, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and be taken down. The soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. An eyewitness has testified, and his testimony is true. He knows that he is speaking the truth, so that you may also come to believe. For this happened, so that the scripture passage might be fulfilled. Not a bone of it will be broken. And again, another passage says, They will look upon him whom they have pierced. Reflection This incident of piercing the side of Jesus is only seen in the Gospel of John. The synoptic Gospels do not have this incident in their passion narrative. When the side of Jesus was pierced by the soldier, blood and water came out of Jesus. Blood represents redemption. In Hebrews 9.22, According to the law, almost everything is purified by blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. When Jesus shed his blood, it showed that the forgiveness of our sins was affected, and thereby we were saved. The church was bought by his blood. The Acts of the Apostles 20.28 explains, Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. Water is a symbol of life and is used in baptism to symbolize a new life in Christ. The water that came out of the side of Jesus symbolizes that we all receive a new life in and through Jesus' death. Even after his death, Jesus showed us how much he loved us by shedding the last drop of his blood for us. Question. How do you put the needs of your family and others before your own? Action. Today, look at the pierced side of Jesus on the crucifix and meditate on how much Jesus loves you.